Hello guys, uh, this is uh, Peter from uh, Sun Insurance and Logistics. I'm bringing you another video today. If you are new to this channel, uh, please consider to look at my content. Subscribe, share, and turn your notification on. I do videos every week to promote the insurance business and the tracking. Um, business so if you are one of them and you think uh, this video is going to help you share with your friends out there so today i wanted to talk about a very important topic in the transportation uh, business and this is on how to book a load and go pick it up and go deliver uh, when uh, you search for a load on a load board it's usually a lot of work to to do for dispatch for those dispatch who are out there you know what i'm talking about it's not easy to find a load these days uh the year since the covid started especially this year to 2022 over the last five months it's been very, very hard to get load in the U.S. I don't know about other uh, neighboring countries like Mexico and Canada, but in the United States, it's very hard to get a load for the box trucks, for the semi, for the cargo vans and the sprinters. You spend weeks and weeks in the truck stop waiting for load, but uh, it's very important you uh, watch this video and listen to it when you get a load so you know you don't mess up. So when you go to the load board, if you are using selectors, if you are using DAT, if you are using another load board out there, you work hard to get that load. It's very, very important to make sure you instruct your drivers uh, to go pick up uh, that load in the right way and deliver uh, before they get paid. So what I usually tell people from my own experience is when you find a load, uh, book that load, and if you have you been awarded, uh, book it, and uh, send uh, the driver information for the pickup as soon as possible. You can either uh, uh, do a text for the uh, pickup number, the address, and uh, the time it's going to pick up. A brokers, especially the new ones, if you are starting to work with a new broker, uh, it's very critical that uh, you pick up the load on time and deliver on time. That's how you start uh, the broker. You start building a good relationship within uh, yourself and the broker. So let's you with a new MC number, new DOT number. And this is your first load. If you mess up on that load, then obviously you know going to have a good relationship and the broker is not going to give you the second load. So your first load must be very, you must handle things in the correct way professionally. So once you get a load, let's say you had a load uh, picking, let's say picking up in Minneapolis and delivering in Wisconsin. So what you do, send the address, either by text, you can use WhatsApp or regular text, and make sure when you send it to a driver, make sure the driver responds back that they have received it, they have read it and they have understood uh, where they are going and what time they are picking up. Some other drivers are very different. You send them a text, they don't respond back, so you don't know if they received it or not. And depending on the way you agreed, if you are sending them uh, 
the information via email, make sure that they reply back so that you know they get it. And as soon as they get it, always ask them for the ETA. What time are they going to be in the pickup at the shipper? And how long is it going to take them to get there? And before you dispatch the driver, make sure the driver is there. Uh, make sure the vehicle starts because especially this time when it is cold, you may book up a load and then uh, the vehicle is not starting. So the broker knows that he has given you a load, for example, picking up at 9 o'clock. And if you book the load at 8 o'clock, you have an hour. So when you call your driver and your driver tells you that uh, he's going to uh, start the vehicle, and all of a sudden he calls you back and says the vehicle don't start, the problem starts right there. So to be a very good dispatch, and if you want your company to rest for long and have a good relations with uh, these brokers, you have to make sure it's your work when you wake up in the morning. Uh, text drivers, call them and talk to them and confirm that uh, it is, uh, they are ready to, ready to roll. If they are sleeping, ask them to take prayer first and uh, get ready on the road. And always use an app to track your drivers. There are free apps out there which you can talk to your driver so they understand. You put them on macro point. So when you give them a load, you make sure that they are moving. Because some other drivers, they say, okay, we are moving. And the driver is not even moving. He has not even started. So to make sure, you have to go an extra mile to make sure that things are moving in the right direction. So you use that app. So once you confirm everything, uh, keep monitoring the ETA to the shipper. If for some reason that your driver is going to be late, let your other dispatch team know, let your broker know, so that they can advise their customers that uh, there might be a pro problems, environmental problems like the traffic, the weather, those, those ones you cannot control. Uh, if there's an accident which has occurred, the direction which you are going and you have been told to detour, it might take more time to get to the shipper. And that's what you need to communicate, communicate properly. You need to have a proper communication uh, between you and the broker. So, so long as you tell them in advance and they tell their customers in advance, they don't have no problems with you. So once the driver arrives at the sh uh, shipping location, let the driver text you back or you can check with the driver to make sure that the driver is there. Sometimes you might send a driver to a very big building whereby like a shopping mall where they have uh, different departments and the driver might think that they have arrived. So the GPS said you have arrived your destination, but you haven't arrived in the, in the room or the department where you are going to pick up. And then the driver starts circling around, around, uh, and you might think that he has arrived, but he hasn't found where the right dock where he's supposed to pick up a load. So you have to keep monitoring, make sure he's in the right uh, department or the right room where he's supposed to pick up a load. So once he's there, you have to check uh, your driver in, make sure you notify the broker so the broker can notify his customer or her customer. And always mark the time you have arrived at the, the shipper. This is very important because if you are delayed, for example, there are some loads which pick up at the airport. You told the load picks up at nine o'clock and when you get there, the load has not even cleared the customs. 
So you have to wait for a long time to make sure it clears. And that's where you have to talk to your broker. The broker has to talk to their customer so that they can extend uh, the hours for the delivery. So if you've been delayed by an hour, two hours, which means the delivery was supposed to be 12 o'clock, so it's going to move two hours ahead, and that would be 2 o'clock. So once you do that, and make sure you are, your driver has like a pickup number. The times when um, a driver goes to pick up a lot, they are told we need a pickup number, which starts with uh, particular digits, and uh, you need to supply that. So it, you keep talking back and forth, but make sure that uh, the communication keeps flowing so that you don't have any further delays. Very important, instruct your drivers to make sure before they leave the shipper, the, the cargo is properly secured. Some brokers, they require pictures, you strapped load bars, so to tie down and secure properly, because if they keep driving and uh, the flight shifts in transit, at their destination, it might be rejected, and this might result in filing claims, delay things, and uh, no broker wants to go through, and uh, no dispatch wants to go through that. So, there are some of the things, the precautions you have to do in order to avoid this kind of situation. So, make sure it is properly secured, and make sure the piece count. Uh, you confirm with the broker the discount before you start. In this one, you can do the pictures. You can match the bill of ladings uh, with what the order was and make sure you carry the proper. And also the delivery address. Make sure the delivery address matches what is on the rate confirmation. Sometimes drivers make mistakes. The address on the bill of lading is different from the address on the rate confirmation. So always uh, don't um, just guess. Call the broker or your dispatch back and ask them the, the, the address on the rate confirmation is not the same on the bill of lading. And then from there, they can decide which one. But most of the time, you go with what is on the rate confirmation because that is what uh, you appended your signature, and that's what you agreed uh, to transport that cargo to a particular uh, destination. But for some reasons, if it doesn't match, then uh, you have to confirm from your uh, dispatch of broker, like I said. And then while on, on transit, uh, make sure if there are any delays, uh, communicate with your dispatch and your broker. So when you get to the destination and make sure you have the right address and make sure the person who is going to receive the, the freight, some brokers look at the instruction. They want you to call the person you are going to meet, the receiver. You are going to, to need to call them like 30 minutes before you arrive or an hour before you arrive so that you can give them heads up like you are on the way so they can uh, anticipate your arrival. It's very important because if you don't, you might get there and find nobody there and you might be wasting a lot of time to do that. That always uh, follow the instructions on uh, the rate confirmation and the instructions from uh, your broker. So when you get to the receiver, uh, make sure when they unload, if it is necessary, you can take the pictures before they unload. And take another picture before, after they, 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 they unload. In that way, if anybody for some reasons they claim like freight is damaged, then you have you know evidence, you have documentation. And Make sure the person who signs. Some people they go there and they write the the writings on the receiver. You don't you can't even read. 
So it's your responsibility, the driver's responsibility to make sure that uh, the receiver signs the first name clearly and the last name and then they put their signature. They can as well put the time and the date because on that BOD, that document is the one which is going to be used to uh, prepare invoices and eventually that's what is going to be used for your payment. So without that paperwork, there's every reason the broker can say they can pay your payment or they cannot pay you because you don't have proof that you delivered the load. So those are some of the things which you guys you need to make sure when you book up a load, follow up, make sure all the paperwork is in uh, before you prepare your invoices. and. Always keep the originals. Don't just for the drivers. Don't just uh, deliver a load and then you trash or discard the the originals. There are some brokers who will eventually say, "Okay, we need the originals to pay." So keep them somewhere and uh, discuss with your dispatch and tell them what you want to do with the the original bill of ladings. But uh, overall. That is the process of uh, from the time you pick up a load and from the time you deliver. So as soon as you deliver, send the proof of delivery to your dispatch and the dispatch can relay the documents to the broker. And that is how the process is complete. And the way the confirmation from the broker says that they have received the BOD and now you are ready to uh, release your driver. So that's what uh, I wanted to uh, let you guys uh, know today, especially if you are a new dispatch or you just started a company and you don't know how the process goes. And you have to make sure that uh, you do it the right way so you get uh, paid. That's all for today, guys. Uh, support this channel subscribe to our channel share and uh, i hope free i will see you in the next video uh, bye bye